Good morning, I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The Dow Jones Industrial Average notched a new all-time high overnight as investors sought to shake off a recent market slump. The 30 stock index finished the session up 0.16%. Earlier in the day, it touched a new intraday record but pulled back from that peak. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 retreated 0.32% and the Nasdaq Composite dipped 0.85%. U.S. sector performance was mixed overnight as traders shifted their focus away from technology stocks and into other market segments. The S&P 500 energy sector gained more than 1%, while technology stocks fell by 1%. NVIDIA's shares declined 2.3% ahead of its earnings report, scheduled for Wednesday afternoon. Investors are closely watching this event as it could significantly impact both the market and the artificial intelligence-driven bull run. Other chip stocks such as Broadcom and Micron also experienced declines. Apple has scheduled an event on September 9th to unveil its new iPhone and Apple Watch models. The highly anticipated iPhone model is expected to feature larger screens, improved cameras and support for Apple intelligence. The event will be live streamed online. Positive market sentiment follows a strong week, buoyed by comments from Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell that hinted at potential interest rate cuts. Wall Street has been eagerly anticipating a rate reduction, particularly in light of recent economic data that sparked a sell-off in early August and raised concerns about the impact of higher borrowing costs on the US economy. While Powell did not specify the timing or magnitude of a potential rate cut, traders are overwhelmingly expecting a reduction of the Fed's September policy meeting, according to the CME Group's FedWatch tool. Turning to commodities, the International Copper Study Group, or ICSG, reports a preliminary surplus of 488,000 tonnes in the global refined copper balance for the first half of 2024, primarily due to increased supply and moderate demand growth. Despite uneven regional demand, the global apparent refined copper usage rose by approximately 3.3% during this period. Oil prices surged their highest level in nearly two weeks on Monday, driven by reports of a shutdown in Lib Libyan production due to political disputes. The news, coupled with heightened tensions in the Middle East, pushed Brent crude up 2.5% to $80.97 and West Texas Intermediate up almost 3% to $77.04. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, SPY Fujitsu indicating a slight 0.1% increase. Thank you for listening.